Yes. Are we going to learn? Definitely. Oh, I have to show this to you. I'm sorry. One second. One second. I'm new at this. Okay. Share the screen. You're going to really like this because I, 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 I lucked out over here. Here we go. All right. The measurements of the... Um, the measurements of the Mizbeach. What, look at this, fellas. Look at this. I got pictures of the Mizbeach. Huh? Oh, look at this here. Pictures of the Mizbeach, of the altar. Incredible. Look at this. I hope that we make a little progress today. All right, now you remember where the Mizbeach is, right? I, we showed that a lot of times. Are you the showing the pictures now? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I got it. What? No? No. You don't see the picture? Just see the text. Uh. Let's see, one second, one minute. Oh, I have to stop this share and do this share. I see, I got to do a new share, okay. Here, good, I have to do it each time. I get it, okay, good, I see. See, here's the, here's the Mizbeach, huh? Beautiful picture. Now, if you remember last time, we looked at, we saw a lot of times, the picture of the Mizbeach. The Mizbeach, this is what's called the copper Mizbeach. The Mizbeach and the Choshet. And this is where all the sacrifices were made. And it had a ramp that went up to it. And this was the Mizbeach like this. And you can see it has sort of levels to it. See, there's a level over here. And this Mizbeach, it was in front of the, what was called the Hechal. The Hechal was the big building where that's where the Holy and the Holy of Holies was. But this was out in the open. It was out in the open. It wasn't accessible to anyone except for the Kohanim. Only the Kohanim could, could use it. So it was in a special area. You had to go up steps in order to get to it. So let's learn. Let's learn the laws. Here we go. Let's go back to the law. I have to stop this share and I have to go back to the other share. There is. And then I have to what I have to make this share small, right? And then I can start a new share, right? Here we go, share screen. There must be a way to make two shares. Come on. They didn't think of this. Oh, I got the wrong picture. One second. One minute. How do I do this? Oh, there it is. And let me turn the meeting. What you could do is you could prepare ahead of time. I did prepare tab. it. No, prepare and have ready in one tab on the browser, like the, the you just showed of the uh, Masbeh. But I do. Page. The pr problem is each time I want to change, I have to close that one and then go to the other one. No, you should, uh, forget it. Let's go. Okay. You'll tell, explain it later. Uh, Gimel. Good. Miro ta Masbeh makuvano tarbeh. See, it would be very easy if I could just flash back and forth. And I probably can. I'll, you'll have to learn how to do it. The, the measurements of the Mizbeach are very, very exact. But Surato Yudua Ish Meish. And its form is known from one person to another. Mizbeach, the Mizbeach that was built by the people that came in the second temple, that's the Gola, that was something like the Mizbeach, which is going to be made there you go. something like the Mizbeach, which is going to be built in the third temple. And you cannot uh, add on to the measurements. You cannot take away from it. Three prophets came with uh, and for the second temple, there was Malachi and Haggai, Malachi and Zechariah. One of them gave testimony on the place of the Mizbeach. One of them gave testimony on the measurements of the Mizbeach, the altar. And one of them gave his okay, God's okay, that you could sacrifice sacrifices on it. Even if there is no base of Mikdash, you can still sacrifice sacrifices on this Mizbech. The Mizbech that Moshe made, and that King Solomon made, and that the people in the Second Temple made, 
and the te- and the one that's going to be made in the third temple, all of them are ten amas high. That is the height of all of them. Call echad each one. I it says in the Torah that it was only three amas when it was talking about the the altar in the uh, the tabernacle in the desert. It says it was only three amas high, not ten. That's talking about Makam Maracha Bilabad. That's talking about the place where the uh, the the fire was alone. Maracha means the fire, the uh, the the wood was set alone. The Mizbech, the altar that the people are were made in the second temple, and also the one that's going to be made in the third temple, its width and length is thirty-two amas by thirty-two amas alone. Okay, now let us. Read the next one, and I'll try to flip back to this picture, and we'll see if we can make sense of this. The ten amas of the height of the Mizbeach, some of them are, there's ten amas high, but sometimes these ten amas, there were layers. They were like, uh, how do you say, uh, the, uh, uh, what they call it, like floors that were made. Some of them were five tafachim, five hand breaths, and some of them are amas that are six hand breaths. But all of the other amas of the building of the base of Migdash, they were all six. And there's only on the altar, once in a while, when it says that it was such and such a number amas high, it means only an ama of only five hand breaths. The height of the whole entire mizbech of the whole altar is 50 58 tefachs high. 58 tefachs high. So figure that out. We'll see. And this is also, this and this is the measurements of it. Now he's going to explain. Okay? Now he's going to explain. So let's see if we can go to this picture that we had before. One second. There. All right. How can I flip over to this picture? You don't see this picture, do you? Huh? The picture? You see it? No. No. Okay, how can I integrate this picture into this thing? All right, you know what? I'm going to stop this share. And I'm going to have to make a new share, huh? Share screen and go over to here. Okay, there you go. Now you see it, right? Yes? And Okay, this is the called the Maracha. This is 10 amas high. This, from here to here, is 10 amas high. Then you see that there's a ledge here. Different levels. Now, let's see. Let's go over here. There's another picture over here. I didn't really have time. See here. This is the place of the Maracha. And then there's another ledge over here that's called the Soviv. The, ha- the Kohanim used to walk here. They used to walk around on the Soviv. This is walking around. Right, and then there was another level that was called the Yesod, the founder. So it was like three layers. The bottom layer was much bigger. That was called the Yesod. Like it's like a three-layer cake, and each one was a little bit smaller than the one on top of it. On top of that was a thing called the Sovev. We're looking from a top view, right? Top view, and on top of that was what was called the Maracha, the place where the the um, wood is. Here, see, here's a better view of it. This is the Yesod from the side. This is the Soviv. Right? This is the Soviv. And this is the... Oh, okay, so I made a mistake. Not, if this wasn't 10. This was 3. That's what he said. That what it says in the tabernacle. This whole thing is always 10 amas high. 10 amas high. There were also cor- corners here. The, the, the horns. It was always 10 amas high. Right? I, it says in the Torah that it was only three amas high. That was referring to this. This was three amas high. Right. Okay, how big was it? It says it was 50, what did we say before? 58, right? 58 hand breaths. So 58 hand breaths. How do you figure that? Well, the hand breath is six. If, 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 I'm sorry. If an ama is six hand breaths, then 10 amas should be 60. 
if a hand breadth is five, then it should be 50. So how do we get 58? So he says, because some of these uh, amas are five hand breaths big, and some of the amas are six hand breaths high. And that, so we'll, we'll explain how it works. Nevertheless, here we see the yesod is very small. Yesod, that's only three amas. The sovev is five amas. And this is three amas. So really, so this comes out to be two amas. I'm sorry. This is two amas here. The, the yesod is two amas. Each one of those amas is going to be five hand breaths. Five hand breaths. So you have two, that's already 10 hand breaths. Then we have another eight. Here is five and three, another eight. And there, those are all six hand breaths. That's all six hand breaths. So six, I'm sorry. Yeah, six hand breaths. So you have six times eight is what? 48. And here we have another 10, 58. Oh, it came out, see? So these two hand breaths, each one is five. That's, that makes 10 hand breaths. And this we have, this is five hand breaths. And this is three. In other words, another eight hand breath, another eight amas, another eight amas. And each one of these amas has six hand breaths to them. Eight times six is 48. That's 48 hand breaths. And here we have two amas, and each one of these amas is five, so it's 10. We'll see if that works out. In any case, oop, oop, in any case the whole thing is 10 amas high, the whole business. Now we're gonna learn the laws a little bit about the Rambam, from the Rambam, so we can see that there was a Karen, and each corner there was also a, a horn. And that was also five tefachim. Okay, we'll see. It wasn't exactly like I said, five tefachim. And then, in general, it's like I said, but you'll see how it works out. This is also, this is the place where the koanim would walk. This is only five tefachim wide. Five tefachim wide. In other words, is, that's an ama, an ama five tefachim. It's not so big. Two, three, four, it's about, let's say, a little less than a yard, maybe a meter or something. And they had to walk, the coin would walk around here sometimes. Then, of course, we have the ramp. The ramp for the, here, the ramp that went up. And there was a little space over here, very interesting. Uh, there, there was a fellow that used to teach in our yeshiva. His name is Mayor Levanoni, and his father, who just passed away, Recently, his father passed away, I guess, a, a year ago, a little more than a year ago. Uh, no, it must have been less than a year ago. Anyway, he made a, like the definitive uh, model of the second temple. It was very, very exact. He put a lot of time and a lot of trouble into it. And he brought it to the Rebbe to show him. He brought it in front of the Rebbe. He was a Hasid Chabad also. He brought it to the Rebbe to show him. There's pictures of him. Brought it to the Rebbe to show him. And the first thing the Rebbe said, I think it's a little bit too, too uh, far away here. First, they just looked at it and said a little too far. He had worked on it for years. You know, every detail was exact. And he took it to big experts. The Rebbe immediately looked at it. And sure enough, there was <laughs> that, that little small mistake. Okay, so this is what the altar looks like. And the altar has to be very exact. And we're going to explain all of these different details, which one is four, which one is six amas, which one is five amas, where the Kohanim walked around, how... What did the Rebbe say? Where you sprinkled the blood. There, there has to be a little space here between the ramp and the... Because they had to throw the offerings over. So there has to be a little space here. So if I remember correctly, he made the space too, a little bit too small, I think. He made it too small. And according to... Of course, he showed that the Rebbe was only a replica but it was a replica that was supposed to be, you know, exactly to, to, to measure, to, what do you say, um, uh, scale, to scale. So according to the scale that he had, there was a little bit too much of a space between the ramp 
and the, or too little of a space, I don't, the, the ramp and the maracha. This is where the fire is. This is where they put the fires. And this is the maracha gadol. This is where they would burn up the sacrifices. And this was what's called the, keep, the, the tapuach, the tapuach that would put all the burning sacrifices, the ashes that would put here. All right, rabbis, we'll talk about this, God willing, next week. Next week to prepare ourselves for Tisha B'Av. But you should know, and this is only the, uh, that's the only the outer altar. There was also, we have the, the Ark that was in the Holy of Holies. And we have the Menorah, which was on the left side of the Holy, Kodesh. And we have the face bread, 12 loaves. That was on the right side as you went in. And then there was the small golden altar where they would offer incense. We'll learn about all of this, God willing, next week. So have a good day. Tomorrow morning, please be with us.